Here's the uh, 69 Fiat Spider with a forklift motor in it and transmission clutch, flywheel, and three golf cart batteries. The red forklift motor behind it. Here's the speed controller over here. It's rated at 36 volts, 400 amps. Same as the forklift motor's rated at. You see there's three big brass terminals there. This one goes to positive of the battery stack. This one goes to the negative of the battery stack. This one goes to the output of the motor. Okay, I got three golf 12 volt golf cart batteries in series. Here's battery number one. And this uh, positive terminal here in red, this shares the uh, positive terminal on the speed controller and also the input to the motor. So the motor goes directly to the positive of the first battery. Okay, so then the positive of the first battery, negative of the first battery, this goes over to the positive of the second battery. And then the negative of the second battery goes back to a kill switch I have back in the by the dashboard. And the other end of the kill switch connects over here to the positive of the third battery. Now the last battery, the third battery, the negative of that goes directly to that negative terminal on the uh, speed controller. So that's how I have the wiring. Notice I have double cables. If you have a single battery cable, they'll get hot. So everything's doubled up. Also, I have a stainless steel nut on here that you tighten with a wrench. Don't use those wing nuts. You've got to torque those really good. I have a brass washer and a brass washer that contain the uh, copper uh, battery terminal. And if anything's loose, it'll get really hot. So you make sure all those terminals are very tight everywhere. Okay, back to the speed controller. Battery positive, battery negative, output of motor, the ground side of the motor. Now you'll see there's one, two, three small terminals here. The first one connects to the b positive of the uh, batteries and uh, this should have a fuse on it. Now the number two and number three terminals here, this has a potentiometer across it and that's where the speed controller uh, is controlled. That's how the speed, it's controlled by a potentiometer and I have a I have an accelerator thing in the car, I'll show you that now. Okay, here's the interior of the car and where the accelerator pedal is, is I have a uh, wah-wah pedal with a for guitars and, uh, and I have a, a potentiometer in there and there's a kill switch right in the middle of it I'll show you that next okay here's the gear shift lever I haven't put the actual lever on it yet and here's the kill switch that connects it I have two uh, two inch copper plates that are spring-loaded together so it'll let a lot of amps through. I'm not going to show you the details of that but it's in there and then when you pull it and twist it now it's open so when you let the car sit if you have an emergency just pull that twist it like that so here's on here's off here's the uh, it's actually a volume control pedal. It's not actually a wah-wah, but same thing. And uh, inside of it, I have a potentiometer. And it's pretty reliable. It's a little gear in there. So I don't have that attached right now. So that controls your speed.
There's the forklift motor and that hub and stub axle assembly and back in there is the clutch and the flywheel and everything. I mounted it with some engine mounts right there. And over on the other side, hard to see, but they're there. So the engine mounts go the uh, half inch steel threaded rod goes right through that engine mount assembly. Here's the dashboard. There's one, two, three little digital voltmeters. They work pretty good. The switches turn those on or off. Okay, now I'm going to run the car. Uh, this is going to be running it on 36 volts. And now I'm going to uh, put it in first gear and let the clutch out. You can hear the clutch work and I'll just move forward few inches. I don't really want to drive it around right now. in first gear and I have the clutch in.